looking for new ideas for your lab? Need great analytical technologies? This is another progress report on our world tour of innovation. This progress report is about UV Viz, and we're speaking with our director of marketing at the company, Simon Nunn. So Simon, tell us about what's new. Thanks, Keith. We've got two new products on the uh, booth this year um, that greatly extend our uh, capabilities in UV Viz and fluorescent spectroscopy. The first product we're showcasing is the new Evolution Array. This is a photodiode array based UV Viz spectrometer. The advantage of a photodiode array is that it enables you to acquire the entire spectrum in a single second. Unlike traditional UV Viz spectrometers, which acquire the spectra in a sequence of wavelengths, this acquires all wavelengths simultaneously. This really enables customers to scan extremely quickly. A whole spectrum can be acquired in less than a second. And for rapid kinetics applications, we can get up to 50 spectra in a second. So a really powerful technique. It is completely insensitive to stray light. So as you can see, we're operating it here under the show floor lights, and it's perfectly happy. Key applications for this would be QA, QC, particularly in the pharmaceutical um, industry, also biological applications, DNA melting, protein folding experiments. We have a range of temperature controlled accessories that really enable you to understand what's going on with a, a protein or DNA as those fold or melt. Um, over here, um, new to show, um, we extend our capabilities by offering a new fluorescence spectrometer. This is the new Lumina. Um, it's an extremely sensitive instrument, very rapid scanning. We're able to get to half nanometer resolution um, with this system. Fluorescence is one of the most important molecular techniques because it enables us to probe systems down to parts per billion sensitivity. Um, great applications, again, in um, biological and environmental sciences. Join us again as we bring you new technologies and great ideas for improving your lab. Watch for another progress report on our world tour of innovation.